Yeah, baby. And I think I figured out why. I think it was why. I finally figured out why. It was Discord. Discord was up and Discord is using a different voice channel. And I realized that very quickly. I think I, it had to be only one thing that was open there was Discord and definitely is Discord because it's, uh, the channels are not set so that's the reason why it's happened. I think ever since I redid the, uh, the monitors um, I had some of the window settings got window settings got messed up so thanks for coming in okay guys today there's a slight change right we're doing something slightly different at the stop we're doing a bit of bring a uh, game changer as well um, I received a game changer request as you know uh, right now I've had well, my content is struggling at the moment because I've had to homeschool my kids, right? Uh, very big challenges for me at the moment because the school that he's going to um, is not doing a very good job, right? Um, so, yeah. And finding um, finding um, these kind of um, experts in the field who can do um, basic logo editions, who can uh, deal with... Um, Helping children develop phonetic skills to so that they are reading and comprehension, their reading comprehension and their listening comprehension improves. It doesn't exist here. Like, it's a fucking some worse than third world, man. This. So uh, I've had to take it upon myself to help my son out. So that means streaming time is a bit shorter, and I've got to do a bit more of that because my son has to take priority. I don't want him to. I don't want, I don't mind. Yeah, definitely financially is going to be a big, big problem for me as well. But I have to, I have to fry, prioritize my son, right? I have to prioritize my son at the moment. So today we're going to, I'm going to squeeze as many things in as possible, right? So today is more or less helping one of you guys out. I'm not going to mention who it is, but uh, he sent in the save to me and say he desperately needed some help. So there's a bit of game changer here. So let's look at the save and um, I'll, I'll walk you through what I normally do, right? So when I have a save like this, um, it could be, I sometimes I like to do challenges myself. Where I pick a save up and I, you know, I start from someone else's save. I've done it many times before and I actually go on and, you know, play the save myself. And what I normally do when I get into that kind of situation, the first thing I do is actually very simple. I go to squad, come here, I go to season preview. I look at this, this measures, this, this odds thing, Tells you your site CA. Basically, this is based off your current ability of your squad. So the current ability of your squad is like top four, right? So it's pretty solid. So if your current ability of your squad is very low, you're probably going to be here. How is current ability measured? Basically, you're looking at your players and their attributes and the dispersion of their attributes. Not okay, sorry. Attributes, not dispersion. So always remember that some this player, for example, could have 120 CA. Right? I mean, we could easily find out what his CA is. I mean, we could come in here... I have a view for CA as well. If you know, I mean, might as well just show you, right? So let's let's take a look. Have I got CA showing? Because this is for when I'm doing um, exports. No, this is not. This is not the CA one. <laughs> yeah, this is all the list of attributes. I have to rename this, man. Uh, rename current view. Just call it attributes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I thought it had CAPA all inside there. I don't have CAPA in there. Okay, all right, cool. I'm not. <laughs> so none of my saves are CAPA. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I've got any here. Youth attribute, training attribute analysis. Ah, there we go. All right. So let's see. Some players, right? Um, This hunt, PA and CA, right? The 102. Some players might have 120, right? Two players could have 120, but it's the way the attributes are distributed that are more important. It's not going to be like, uh, okay, like for example, you look at this striker, Charlie Austin, right? So if I'm looking at him going, um, yeah, you you could easily find somebody who is, uh, take, let's take off five from here, okay? We take off five from here, put five here, it becomes 11, right? The CA is still going to be the same for both players because of the way the attributes are distributed. So you got to remember that just because a player's got 180 CA, a 140 CA player could still be much better than a 180 CA player because he might have maxed out on finishing, acceleration, agility, composure of the ball, passing, and work rate. So a player like that could be infinitely better than another player. So always understand that when you're playing the game, right? I always tell people you should look at the attribute dispersion of a player before anything else, right? So um, so that's the first thing. So let's let's get that sorted. 
Now, we saw the CA of the team. Basically, they're not bad, right? Okay, so they should be in the top three, top four. He's in the top three, which isn't bad. Right? I mean, it's okay. So that's the second thing I look at. I don't look at the run, run in. No. I look at finances, second thing. Because finances is incredibly important in any level of the game because it gives you flexibility. Uh, having a good financial, uh, f good, great financial control is going to be the reason why you're going to be successful, right? Sometimes I gamble and you guys have seen me do that with Gloucester City and Kingston. And what do I do? I sign like crazy. I, I, run, the, I run into a, um, deficit areas, right? When I do deficit kind of budgets, right, it's because I know I'm going to get promoted. I know my squad is deep enough. So the second thing, the next thing you check is your depth of your squad. So we're looking at the depth of your squad, right? Next. Uh, okay, so we look at... So let's look at the depth of your squad. All this has changed, man. I don't know why all my stuff is not correct anymore. Um, Let's go to training. Maybe this one. Okay, so... So let's look at the depth of his squad. Right? So looking at his squad, he's got positions, goalkeepers, three defenders... Okay, I mean, looking just at looking at this, right? You always want to have at least two players, two players to cover for every single position. Seriously, the deeper your squad goes, the better off you are. Now I'm looking at the other thing that I don't like on a lot of saves. Now when you do this kind of development, like you know, if you if you're gonna do this, you're leaving it to your tactic, right? So every time you play a game, you're not choosing a role for that player. That is not good. That is the worst way of playing the game. Now, I know some of you probably think it is easier because I don't know where I'm going to play him next. But seriously, if I was a lower league manager, I will always be focused on training. So you never want to do something like this, right? So if you, you got to look at your own team and say, okay, what, where are my weaknesses? You know how you find that out? Go to squad planner, go to comparison. Now we've got a team. Now, the only problem with this, doing an analysis like this is because, whew, um, average, right? You, the, deep, the deeper your squad is, the more irrelevant averages become. So you want to just, yeah, you want to add one or two to everything that you see. So let's take a look at the, um, let's look at the physical attributes first. First start, physical attributes for strikers. Where does this team stack? Acceleration, definitely nowhere near where we want to be. See, I'm looking at best being 13.25, worst is 9.67, he's 11. He's not even near the average. Right? So what you want to do is, if this tells me it's 11, means there's some quite a few players here with 9, 8, 7. There could be one or two players who are higher, but this is a bad place to be. Right? Acceleration below 11 for the majority of the strikers is not where you want to be. Right? So you definitely want to have a fast attack. Okay, this is, if you couple this with a midfield, he got, he's got a couple of players in midfield, he brings it up, so it's probably some midfielders who are pretty fast. But again, this is not good. You want to prioritize physical attributes for your attack that's very important okay so uh, i think here i think getting strikers who are maybe able to finish that's good but this becomes a liability later when you're playing the game because he doesn't have acceleration he doesn't have jumping region so he's play he doesn't have strikers who are a presence in the final third so this can be an issue right so i'm looking at all this and i'm going this is nowhere where we want to be stamina is also very low for your strikers and you've got uh, other stuff like, okay, that, I, I'm very scared of looking at work rate. Uh, okay, now let's look at strikers and their technical skills. Okay, uh, finishing, uh, this is the common mistake I see a lot of people do with their saves. They are so focused on, you are so focused on finishing, okay? You're so focused on finishing that, yeah, to the detriment of other attributes. Like, you want to have a balanced approach to the game, right? Uh, how do I get CA and PA in my squad? Because if you've got editor here, right? So if you got if you purchase the editor, right, you can do a lot of uh, other things in your game. So you can do, like, maximizing, all this nonsense. Plus, more importantly, CCA, PA. Yeah, so if you want to be able to CCA, PA, you've got to have the editor. Or you can use a skin that actually extracts that information for you. But i rather use, I mean, is, this is better. I mean, it's only, it's only about 10 bucks, I think. Okay, so... All right, we have some issues here, right? So acceleration. Let's look at a profile of your team, right? Okay, I haven't done one of these in a long time, man. Maybe I can use the youth attribute DNA. Okay, all right, we got a youth attribute. I got the basic DNA, composure, anticipation, concentration, stamina, strength, acceleration. Okay, that could work. Okay, we'll just add a few more. <laughs> I'll customize. I'm going to rename this view, okay? Uh, rename the view. I'm going to just call it DNA. 
Okay. All right. Uh, then we're gonna add um create copy of current view. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> BTN DNA two. <laughs> because I should not screw this up. Okay. Uh, customize. <laughs> what am I doing? No, go back. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. Customize current view. Okay. So we got DNA. We got some DNA. So I'm gonna go to the attributes. I'm gonna put a few more in here. So we've got uh, composure, anticipation, concentration, stamina, acceleration. What we're missing is things like work rate, right? I want aggression. Telling you aggression is damn important. Okay. You want work rate. Where's work rate? Where's work rate? Okay, there we go. All right. We got So we got work rate, aggression, stamina. So stamina and work rate will work hand in hand together. So we'll put them down here. Stamina, work rate, um, then we've got, let's look at jumping reach. Yeah. So this is, this will help me understand the physical attributes of your players. This will help me understand the mental attributes of your players. And then we will look at decisions, right? So I mean, decisions, you don't need a lot of players to have good decisions, but it's a good idea to have some kind of idea about your, you know, as a squad where you guys sit. Okay. So. We auto, now we auto size all columns. I have to drag this to the right. As you can see, you see all your training is by position, like, you know, generic. This is not what you should do. I, okay, for example, let, let's look at one player, Matthew Baudry. What do you think? He's, how old is he? He's 34 years old. He's not going to improve anymore, but you want him to maintain those attributes that are in core to his role, right? So you come in here, don't play this, don't do DC playing position, right? Because yeah, it's a waste of time, right? He's not going to... And the other thing is ball control. At the age of 30, he's not going to improve anymore. What you want him to do is not lose at too many attributes. So go in here, go and pick central defender. Bang. Core attributes that you need him to do. At this point in time, 30 years old, attributes start going down. So you... Which are the attributes you are not willing to see go down? The important attributes. The dribbling first touch is by... By this age, you know, it's not like he's going to improve these attributes right so go none okay maybe if you want acceleration make him work on stamina right these are attributes that good i mean quickness he's not going to improve anymore pace acceleration and keep going down he might get injuries because of his age so you mean you 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 kind of simplify it by you know looking at those attributes that are key okay to what he is supposed to do right and then if i'm looking at another player let's take another one here so let's just randomly pick one more player here um, I played as let's look at your most of most appearances. We've got Marcel Lavinia. I don't know what his position he's playing, but looking at him right now, okay. Uh he looks like he's a fullback. How do I know what position he's been playing? So we go to form. You've been using him as a wing back. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna use him as a wing back. Okay. Um, this is uh Division two, a uh, division one or division two, right? This these attributes are quite. How do you know where he sits versus all the other players? You come in, but you go back here, right? You go back to squad planner. You go to report. Go to comparison. Go to defenders, right? Okay, find out what the acceleration attribute is for most. The technical attributes, crossing, corners. No, let's go crossing. Crossing is about nine. Okay, nine is the uh, above average of ten. Okay, 9, 9 to 10. So we know that the ba baseline here is about 10. So you want him to be about 10, right? You can tell, right? 10, 10, 10. You can see all this all this bar is at 10, right? So that's the highest. So this guy's highest is 7.46, 10. I mean, if you wanted to go aim for 9 to 10, you'll be fine, right? So for technical attributes, 9 to 10. So now we come, we come back into that player again, wherever he is. Okay, 9 to 10 is the baseline. So he's almost at the baseline for most of his attributes. So what do we want him to do? We want him to improve as a wing back. Okay, we want to train him as a wing back in that position. You come in here, wing back, attack, bang. Focus on the attributes you need him to perform in your role. That is very important. Okay, so just get him to work on those attributes. You have if you're not sure, look at your tactic. Choose the tactic. What role are you playing him in a tactic? That is the role you give him. If you're not, it is better to choose one than to choose nothing. Choosing nothing is the worst thing in the world. So don't do that. Okay. What meta? I don't think of any meta. The meta, the, the best meta in the game is you. You are the meta in the game. If you follow a meta, you don't understand. You will never be able to play the game very well. But if you understand, if you can improve the way you're playing a tactic, you are the meta because you're going to be changing things on the fly. 
the biggest game changer in the game right now is the 60th minute changes that you make. That turns games around. So that is you are the method and not the tactic. So you, you can find success with almost a lot of tactics in the game right now. So pick something. So in this particular case, right, for you, I would say you have a lot of work to do in terms of deciding what kind of uh, what kind of task that they do, right? So that's more important. Okay, so now we've got, so I identified the major issues you have in your safe. Your major issues you have in your safe, the biggest issue you have in your safe right now is not deciding what you want to do with your players. Okay, so let's now look at the acceleration of your team. Okay, I'm going to just come in here, right? Tactics, right? We're going to quick pick. Uh, how many days we, we got? We've got five days. So what we're going to do is going to holiday all the way to the fifth day. Okay. By then we'll know kind of like, kind of, we got kind of a, some idea, right? We're going to depend on the S-man, say, you know, let the S-man decide who are the best players in your team. Once the S-man has given us his pick of the best players for your 4-3-3, we're going to see how the attributes line up. Yeah, I know I'm having, uh, I just looked at my, do you know that the teachers, right? I was so stunned uh, that some of the teachers don't understand that I've is a contraction of I have. So my son answered some questions that so they're all correct. <laughs> so he had to just choose between I've and heaven, heaven, I have heaven. Uh, that was I've got and I haven't got, right? So, so he just went and chose I have for all of that, which is correct. There's nothing wrong with that. So the teacher marked him wrong. I'm like, what? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, I, I have to like, I'm thinking to myself, man, seriously, I, I've got to teach my son. But the challenge is this, right? I'm not a trained teacher. I, I am a, I mean, I understand neuropsychology. That I do know, okay? As in uh, neurolinguistics, uh, neuropsychology, okay, how the brain, um, how the brain un, uh, captures information and stores it, how he uses it for later. That I can, I know, right? So I'm using, applying everything I know from that field into my son's education right now. So I went on a big binge just yesterday. I spent like 1K on stuff no, to I'm going to use at home. And then I went to, yeah, man, there's like all kinds of things now in the house. My whole, I turned an entire part of the house into a whole educational area for my kids. I mean, they already had one, but now I've decided, okay, this, this requires massive intervention on my part. I mean, I'm not blaming anybody except for myself. Like. I should have seen this coming, but I can't, it's my fault, okay? I, I blame myself. Every time there's failure in life, I always blame myself. Okay, looking at acceleration, let's quick pick your team, right? So we quick pick your team. Starting 11 is here. So let's get out of this view. I mean, no, no, we stay on that view. We stay on that view. We can't come here to do the view here. So we'll stay on this view because this will have all the, the players in the positions chosen, right? So we're going to choose this like this. All right, we got the players chosen. We come in here. Acceleration for your first 11. This... This Charlie Austin, okay, the goalkeeper uh, striker. Then we got, okay, this is like quite sad, man. Strength. Where's aggression? Oh my God. What's wrong with aggression in your team? This is terrible aggression in your team, man. Like DM with aggression of eight, M for six, five for a winger. Holy cow. This is horrendous. <laughs> this is terrible. Look, I, I'm telling you guys right now. Aggression has to be a decent attribute in the game. Don't go and settle for an aggression attribute of less than, like for I I am all all for aggression. No, in this game now, look right, okay. You see the aggression right for midfielders. The AI is going at ele uh, averaging ten. No, you are averaging seven. You know how far off the beaten track you are. You might as well be playing that while they are playing. Rugby on the field and doing full-on challenges, your players are just making way for them as they run through your team. They're just standing there. Come through me. There is no way anybody can have long-term success in this game if your aggression levels of your central midfield are going to be less than nine. No way. So you got to have some aggression in your team, man. So this is, this is, this is not good. This is like, this is terrible. This is not terrible. This is, oh my goodness. Okay. All right. This is bad. That is bad. That is very bad. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the tactic here. 
So you got to make block, drop off more. Okay, uh, looking at this tactic, it's pretty safe. Shorter pass. Okay. The thing is, this tactic is neither here nor there. In terms of you creating a tactic, it's not here nor there. What do I mean by that? Okay. Mentality, ignore mentality. Just throw mentality away. Don't think about it anymore. Okay. Just do not think about mentality. All right. Any Anytime you play the game, don't allow yourself to fall into the trap. Okay. Mentality defines how you play. Mentality defines risk. That's it. Okay. What defines how you play are your instructions. So out of possession, you're sitting deep. You're not committing your back line too high up the pitch. That's why your standard defensive line, right? So your full backs, are not, your wing backs are not going to be very high up the pitch. In fact, what this means is your back line's distance to midfield might be a bit far. Okay, so players are generally going to require a bit more skill to bring the ball up depending on their roles. Mid block, you are telling them, okay, fine. I tell you what, you try and tackle the ball near the halfway line. Drop off, don't, don't do anything funky. Just drop off and then after that, try and win the ball away here. That's why your tactic is dust. So if you lose the ball, okay, these boys are going to go back into their defensive positions first when they do drop off more. That's what he means. He's just um, allowing the opposition to come at you a bit more because you want to hold your defensive shape a bit more. This is what drop, drop off more does. Stop crosses. These guys are going to work together to try and shut down crosses. Okay, so at the moment, you have set yourself up hoping that your players are going to aggressively help you defend. But... <laughs> Your midfield is a bunch of pansies. Low aggression. They might have work rate. They might have stamina. They certainly don't have anticipation. Some of them do, but not the majority. This 8-8 eight, eight is below average. Remember what the number is? 9, right? Okay. Some of them are okay, but not all of them. This, 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 this fullback here is, doesn't have composure, doesn't have aggression, has bad decision-making, can't read the game doesn't know how to concentrate okay uh he might be fast so hoping that he he makes up for his mistakes when you are at the lower levels right when you sign players you don't give a shit about potential you give it you you care about current ability to help with potential you're going to change them next season why you worry about their potential they're not going to develop in the next two to three seasons and become superstars why because your training facilities are still only 10 your youth facilities are 6. Your youth recruitment is 10 and your junior coaching is 10. As far as you're concerned, your club cannot produce any good players. The only players you're going to get are players that you add to your club. So if you want to get a lot of promotions, this is not where you're going to get your players from. Your players are not coming to... They are not going to get developed by you. Your job as a manager is to find better players that can play for you. Right? So as far as you're concerned, so this is how you get promoted very quickly. You do not... You know, hope to <laughs> see this become this. Forget it. You're better off selling these players because they're not going to develop, right? So a lot of these are probably loan players, which is okay, right? So this guy, George McCrean, 20, uh, 20 appearances. So be be very careful, right? <laughs> You're a trained teacher. Hey, DK. You're, I want trained teachers, but I, want, I don't know how to teach. Uh. I'm trying my best, no. I'm doing... I mean, I'm applying the, the fundamental um, principles of uh, education. I mean, like how a child learns, right? Uh, I need them to be, I need them to hear what I say, see what I say. <laughs> Where are okay, I need them to hear, see, touch, feel. Okay, that kind of thing, right? Okay, so when they, they, they yeah, basically, I don't, uh, it has to be a too sensory tactile experience lah, when it comes to learning something. Okay. All right. So all these. Okay. So okay. So basically, you gotta get better. Okay. Basically, you gotta get better at signing players. All right. Let's look at your signings, right? Okay. So let's look at all the players you added in based on the date. I'm not looking at this. I'm looking at the latest players. So you signed this Dylan Kaji on loan. Okay. Fine. I mean, loan signings are good, right? Get as many players in on loan as you can. That's fine. You know, this is a very proven way of uh, adding depth to your squad. That's great. That's great. So I, I would just loan as many as i can but these guys are free signings okay this guy is a free signing he's not bad he's got good aggression uh this is a pretty solid looking uh decent player yeah he can definitely play yeah okay this is a good signing all right okay so i think you understand charlie austin on a free i wouldn't waste my time yeah because you see the thing is uh, i'm looking at his wages as well 156k per annum 104 yeah <laughs> i mean maybe he's available but his wages, I'm not going to do you any favors, right? So, Jake Kane came in on loan, I think. 
Yeah, 50. You paid 50k for a player from Liverpool, 21 years old, because, oh yeah, maybe he can stick around with you for a couple of seasons. You're going to have to play him all the way and then hopefully he gets better as time goes on. So Jake Kane has to play a lot of games. But he's what What does he bring to the table? He's a player that can shoot from outside the box, maybe create some goals. He's got passing, he's got vision, he's got flair, which is very important, but he doesn't make all the right decisions. So, you see, the thing is, when I sign players, if I want them to play for me, I will have a very specific idea of what the player is supposed to do. So when I'm looking at his attributes, they have to pass the minimum threshold. What's the minimum threshold? In this league, it's nine. So if I wanted him to be an inside forward, all the attributes must be nine or min nine at least, right? So here, I would probably want him to be able to finish. He can't finish. I'll probably need him to cross the ball. He can't cross the ball. I need him to pass the ball. That's all he can do. He can only pass, pass, but he doesn't make the right decision when it comes to passing all the time. Right. So he's okay, but not a game changer. Right. So you pay 50k on a player that's not a game changer for you. Right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm sorry, you know, I might sound harsh, but you, you gotta yeah. You got to be very, very specific. I think Charlie Austin is, um, you got you brought him in, but I think this is, this, he, you shouldn't bother. Yeah, I would never have bothered. I, I can't even find Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin, no, too slow. You are playing a mid block. You can't afford to have a slow striker. All your strikers have to be fast. They need to be able to get away, take the ball and do something with it, right? At least run with the ball. All you got to hope for is run. That's it. Charlie Austin gets the ball. Charlie Austin can only be useful for you in a system where all he does is sit in front of the goal as a poacher. That's it. But then as a poacher, he's going to turn around and pass the ball, right? So he's going to lose the ball for you all the time. So Charlie Poacher, Charlie Austin is a yeah, very expensive, very, ex very expensive non-player. Okay, so we got Tom Clayton. Okay, Tom Clayton looks like a decent signing. I think I like him as a fullback. Yeah, you got a very good fullback on the left. So you got, you got decent fullbacks in him. Here... <laughs> Yeah, I probably would use him uh, in, in attack. Okay, so let's go into your tactic. We're going to play a game, right? So, okay, so let's take a look at your tactic. Now, we got, now this is going to be fun, man. Who would I play? Oops. Okay, so let's look at your tactic first. Okay, now we got mid block dropping off. Okay, fine. Counter, counter press. Fine, nothing wrong with this. This is fine. But here, when you come, this you got mid block and shorter passing. Okay, fine. Who's going to make the short passes for you? Why are you playing short passing? You're not that good a team, right? So you want to keep possession of the ball. But you gotta be you gotta be careful with this shorter passing because if you're playing a mid block, you want some of the attacks to be early attacks. Like somebody plays a long pass down the flanks. That's what you are looking at. Now here you might be looking at this low crosses. You think you're good enough to do like cutbacks. Dear Lord, you're playing a mid block and you want to go all the way to the final third and then wait and cut back. That's not a good idea. Either commit to one style of play. Don't do cutbacks until you become a very good team. So let's take a look at some of the highlights. So there's something with the tactic. So we're going to try and improve the tactic. So in terms of your strategy for signing players, you got to be very simple. You got to be very focused with your strategy. So if I were you, I go in there and identify very key attributes that you need for certain positions, right? So if you want a role to create chances for you, acceleration, what? how do you want the chances to come? Crossing, focus on crossing. Okay, then you need agility for the player to get into the final third. Uh, or rather keep the ball. This is terrible defending. <laughs> okay, you got a ball, this one big over the top. Weakling gets the ball, turns. Yeah, this is because you do cutbacks, right? Right, so... Well, you look at the way they scored the goal. Okay, one, two, three. Where got, there's no cutback here. Don't get in there and just do the, the best that you can do. Okay, I mean... Goal goes in, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's simple enough. Okay, second one, they go down the flanks. Thorn, he's got plenty of support. Gives it to this guy, drops across. Where's the cutback? This is what you, how you should be playing. You shouldn't be playing like this. Go all the way to the end, and then channel one. Go, okay, let's let's try a cutback. Bring players in, and then you know, yeah, you get a you get a fluky, you get a goal, but you want to keep things simple. All right, so looking at attack here now, we got AP on attack. We got. E AP driving through the center, trying to create. I mean, do you, okay, let's look at your, let's look at your barrel. Who do you use? I'm just going to use the players you use. Okay, is this your team? Yeah, this is your team. J, what's his name? J Williams, J Kane, okay. Ian and uh, whatever your name is. Okay. All right, so you started with uh, Marcel Levinier. 
Joe Tomlinson. Joe Tomlinson on the left. Huh? Okay. All right. And then Johnny Williams. Who's Johnny Williams? Where is he playing? Okay, Johnny Williams playing on the left. Jake Kane. Uh, Jacob Wakelin. Hmm. Nah. He's not he's not good enough to start. Reese Devine. Uh fullback. Okay. Sadukan. DM. Okay, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna simplify this. AP on attack. I don't know if you have players for this role. So let's go in here. Uh I think we go I think it's squad planner, right? Uh best eleven. Okay. So your best eleven by roles. Okay, hold on. How do you how do you change this by roles? Thank you, SI. You're bloody war. Best eleven. Last time we could change it by roles, right? Now we can't, no. That's the stupid thing about this game right now. A long time ago in a land far, far away. Johnny, okay, he's got it by roles, anyways. Johnny Williams is your best player here. Okay, fine enough. Dillian Kaji. Johnny Williams as a CM on attack. Okay, he gets forward, passing. Okay, we can ask it. No, doesn't have acceleration, doesn't have strength. Cannot. He can't really play in this position and then push away, you know, because um, he's got decent agility. Okay, we might use him as a CM on attack, but acceleration, final third, doesn't get away and draw players to him. Or rather, you know, they basically draw players to him. So here, your DM position, these are your best two DMs. Ouch. Sado Khan, Jake Kane here, Charlie Austin and Jacob Welling. Okay. Remy Oton. Okay, so I think we got to change the tactic. I am looking at this. Um, I kind of miss the old game, man. I really do miss the old game, no? The old game had a much better way of doing it. Um, how do we do it? Uh, assistant report. No. Best 11. Uh, Dave. Yeah, man. The old way of playing it was so much more better. The old way of sorting it was so much more better. So we got Johnny Williams. Okay, so what have we got here? Sadhu Khan. No. Roran Darcy. Maybe. Acceleration. Passing. Vision. Decisions. Flare. Off the ball. Okay, Roran Darcy could be a decent player in this position. Okay, so we push him to second. George McCreerian. What the hell? Composure, decisions, determination. You don't play for AB ever again. <laughs> Let's drop him out of the window. You go right to the bottom, okay? Stay there. Don't come up. Johnny Williams. Uh, Johnny Williams is not bad, okay? Johnny Williams can play in the center. Uh, what about this guy? This guy, Khan, acceleration, no aggression, no anticipation, no concentration. Where are you, Sadhu? Sadhu, come. Come. Come down again. Come down again. You also join... Mr. George McCrean. I we don't want idiots in the midfield, huh? Already they don't have aggression. Okay, this guy is not that bad. Like anticipation, concentration, okay. Like, you know, you know one of the you don't <laughs> not altogether fantastic. I mean, I think we the question is where do where do we play him and does the less least amount of damage? Okay, I can't think of a place. So who are you? Elias Landono. Okay, oh my goodness. That guy is coming down as well. All right, wow. Jake Kane. Yeah, Jake Kane, I think uh, anticipation, concentration, decision making a bit weak. Okay, but never mind. He is not so bad. Dylan Kaji, not very fast. Ah, cover. Ricky, this guy is just cover. No, he's not good enough to play. All right, passing vision, decisions, flare. Maybe he can play in the final third just as a, a that's like an attacking playmaker. Doesn't have the strength, doesn't have agility to keep the ball. He might lose the ball on occasion. All right, Mohamed Dabre. Okay, that's out. Okay, so basically, I'm not looking at one, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three, four to work with. That's it. Okay. Ronan Darcy, Johnny Williams, Jake Kane, Dylan Kaji. Okay, who can play here? Holy cow. Tom, Tom Clayton, please be, please be brilliant. Okay, thank you very much. Tom Clayton, first choice. Kian. Kian! My son's name. Okay, Kian. Kian, you're definitely playing because you got my, my son's name is Kian. So he's 100 percent playing. Okay, Josh McCrean, you don't come near the first team. Okay. <laughs> Elias also don't come near the first team. So this is your top two. Okay. Left side. Left side. Okay, we're looking for just uh, any joker. Like Johnny Williams can play. Okay, all right. Okay, come, let's inside forwards. Oh my goodness. We just lost out, man. Inside forwards. This is all we got. 
Okay. <laughs> Things are not looking up. Uppity, uppity, uppity. Morgan Roberts, never mind. Whoever you are, short, short, serious squad. Best suited. Luke Jepcott, what the hell? All these players want to stay in the club. <laughs> Best suited Oscar Macy. I don't know, man. Johnny Williams can't. We gotta, you got to play in midfield at least. Okay. Tyree Shade, what are you? Huh? Okay. Things not looking good here now. Okay, we got a problem on the left side. Morgan Roberts, you are out on you are out of the club. Why? I see why. Okay. Luke Jepcott, striker. Okay, you at least not so bad, huh? You come up. Okay, you at least can place inside forward. Got hope. Got hope. This guy at least, you know, play him. He's, he's not gonna be fast. Okay, Tyree Shade. I don't know, man. Maybe hopefully. Lah. Not like we got a lot of choices here, man. Okay, invert <laughs> on the right flank. Jacob Welling, Wakelin. Okay, you did a lot. I think you just you just be okay. Strikers. Strikers, Jacob Whaley, you go to the top. Okay, I don't see any other option. Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin, uh, you might have to play, no. Rush. Hey, Rush Lan. You got another one here. Okay, good. Rush. Get up there, man. Okay, okay Rush. Okay, we got Rush and Jacob Whaley. Okay, now we go to the right side. Ricky. Ricky. Uh, can't cross, can't do anything. So, forget it. <laughs> Tyree Shade. Uh, <laughs> why can you do Jacob you're the only one man okay Jacob left foot right foot okay Jacob what can you do left foot right foot I tell you why you be a winger you're, I don't play as anything else okay alright okay we kind of know who's playing where okay yeah okay so okay so what are you going to look at your tactic right so come in here change this guy to a winger first okay I tell you why we are going to play a simple one right so that's Let's keep it simple. So DM, DM. Why am I changing those AP? Taken off AP on attack, right? So I'm just going to keep it simple. CM on attack, drive through the middle. Winger on support. Yeah, just leave him as a winger on support or winger on attack. So we got, I think winger on support better. Okay. All right, so we don't have too many players running. Here inside for the attack. Okay. All right. So we got Williams. Uh, who did we think of Jupe Jepcott, right? So, okay, never mind. Okay, so here in the center, I think we'll go with a box-to-box -box midfielder or maybe still just go ball-winning midfielder on support, DM on defense. We'll play uh, no CD on cover. We'll just play central defender. Wing-back on attack. Don't need a wing-back on attack. We'll just keep it simple. Wing-back on support. No need. To, there's no need to go and do lots of crazy. Why? What is this? Okay, all right, okay. All right, so up top is going to be uh, up top is going to be this guy, okay. And let's try him, Hepburn Murphy, okay. Off the ball, not that thing else, no. Just pure finishing, composure, acceleration, agility off the ball, okay. That's it. That's all he has, okay. Now in the center, we need somebody attacking the center, okay. So we need someone. I think just now we saw a couple of players like Jake Williams. Okay, this guy can play here. Okay. Or he can play Jake Williams, Jake Williams, Jake Williams. Ball winning midfielder, you're not. Okay. All right. Wow. You, we, I, I forgot. We don't have a ball winning midfielder. Box to box. You got no aggression. You got zero aggressive players in midfield. That's the other problem that you have. You need to get like players that can actually do something in midfield. Okay. Uh, we got Tomlinson. Tomlinson out. We're going to play with, uh, where is he? I just saw the defender just now. Um, not Lavinia. Lavinia, Lavinia is Reese Devine, is it? Oh yeah, Reese Devine. We're gonna put Reese Devine here. Okay, Hutton on the right. No thanks. We're gonna play Tomlinson. Can he's got left foot and right foot? Not so bad. Okay, and then we got Tyree Shade. Can't play. Blake Tracy. Uh, Dylan Kaji, off the ball, positioning nine, no jumping reach. Now we gotta find out who can play in this position as a ball winning midfielder. Um, Tom Clayton. Tom Clayton can play as a DM. So play him as a DM. Devin on the left as a fullback. Tom Clayton is this. Okay, who's this guy gunning? Nope. <coughs> okay. I think there's a lot of it's got to do with who you who you have chosen as players in your team. 
right? The problem here is you don't have a lot of good play. You don't have a lot of players that can actually uh, bust the gut and do something. Uh, here, this guy is not playing. 100% McCrean. Okay. I mean, you just remove from position. Uh, you don't come anywhere near the first team. Okay, You just stay away. I'm sorry to say this, but that guy is absolutely the worst choice in the team. Uh, by country mile. Uh, we can't use him. That guy adds nothing to the side. Okay. A lot of these players are struggling. So we got Ricky Agua. No. Uh, Jake Kane, I think. Jake Kane gets forward. 13, 13, 12, 19, 14, 13. Okay, Jake Kane. The problem with Jake Kane is he's better off playing here. I mean, in the absence of any other player, this is the only player that we can play here. But the problem is he's not a finisher. And, he, and he's not going to attack the area very effectively because uh, I would retrain him. I'll play Jake Kane here. Um, Ricky. You, you, actually, you don't have a, you don't have a AP. You know? I don't know why you're playing APA because this guy is not much of a player. 13-13 jumping reach, national finish can't last. This guy is a waste of space. Yeah, He's a complete waste of space. I'd rather not use him. Uh, so, what have we got? Ellis, Londono. Um, mm, Ronan Darcy. Okay, Ronan Darcy maybe. Okay, so we can put Ronan Darcy there. And Kane there. I don't know why it changed like that. Okay, okay, we can put a Ronan Darcy here. And then we put Kane there. Okay. <laughs> what you need to do is, you need, when, you, when you start searching for players or start adding players to your squad... You absolutely need to find some players with some aggression in midfield, because your your team needs to be your team needs players like that. You know, I mean, it's 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 almost suicidal to play football without those kind of players, right? So you're gonna always you're gonna have issues later. All right, this guy actually can play here. Okay, so we got him, Williams, not Jake Kane. Jake Kane has got flair off the ball passing okay i like this guy playing here actually okay so we can play him there all right so now the question is these are the these are the players i'm looking at i mean i mean we could fiery parsons yeah so this is something is something that you might have to address now when we come into the second half and we need to make changes now it comes the part who are the best players that we can bring on in the second half <laughs> okay so uh I'm looking at uh, all the MC, uh, DM and fullbacks, right? So, uh, DM and fullbacks. Positioning, you can't, he, I mean, this guy, DRC, okay. Um, Ronan Darcy, where can he play? He can play in attack, he can play in midfield, okay? So he can come on. This guy can come on the left. Tyree Shade, uh, maybe come on for the inverted winger if some injury happens to him. Minton. Minton, Harris, Harris is slow. Baudry, wow, your defenders are, your defenders are not good. Uh, defenders, I mean, this guy, uh, de yeah, defenders, I think the, uh, this safe's biggest issue is you haven't focused on the primary attributes when you want to sign your players. I mean, like if you're defenders, right, why go for tackling and all this? Not, why you go for tackling and marking when you should be focusing on like get a players who can defend for you first excel you know have some jumping reach in the area then acceleration focus on these two first right and then go to positioning right then anticipation concentration then go to tackle always work right with some of the mentals and the physicals before you go to the technicals if you can if you can find defenders who are smart enough to know where they should be you don't have to worry about whether they are uh, technically good in Hey, a player who can knows where to be doesn't need to tackle. A player who doesn't know where he's supposed to go is the one that needs to tackle. So that's something that you know you have to bear in mind when you're making these kind of tactics. So this is something that you know. So your team has got to go and get a DM. Has to go and get a defender who's got jumping reach. Like this guy, 13 and 7. 13, no, this guy shouldn't even be in the club. 13 jumping reach, 9. Anticipation, eight concentration, yeah, not worth, not worth playing. Okay, so let's go. So these players are pretty decent. Okay, I'm looking at this. 
Now let's look at your tactic. Changes to mix, right? So then drop this from go to cautious, go to positive. We'll, why positive? So we keep the ball. Okay, I haven't played your game before, right? So we don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to play mid block. I'm just going to play. I'm going to get the defenders to, to support the attack. I know we're playing at a higher defensive and we're dropping off more. Okay. The problem with this team is it cannot um, do a full court. Uh, rather, he cannot really press very hard. See, tackle harder, mark specific position. I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove this. Right. Don't do not do all this mark specific position. You don't need it. And then tackle harder, your players don't even have aggression. You think it's going to work? It's not going to work, man. Yeah, so you need some aggression in your players. Here, cross him. Far post is fine. We do mark tighter. All right, so we're going to start with like this and see whether this works. Yeah, I, I would play it like this first and then see him on attack winger inside forward attacking this way. This guy can attack the final third, right? So he's got passing, vision, decisions. He's got some off the ball. He gets forward whenever possible. Okay, so this guy could drive at team. So maybe what we'll do is ask him to take more risk and dribble more. Okay, so we'll get him to attack this area. Here, this player, Khan. Khan is basically shoots from distance, alive, late. That's not so bad. He's more like a box-to-box -box midfielder. His anticipation is very good. His concentration is very good. So he might open up this side a bit more. So we'll try to... We'll tell this guy to be a fullback on support. Because I'm worried about this this being exposed, right? Because we are we want him to get into the final third. So we got these two attacking. All right. So now we got shorter passing, higher tempo. We're just gonna mix it up. We go to we're just gonna play on even, an even setting, right? Okay. Okay, we're gonna start this game and then uh okay, we'll play mid block but higher defensive line. We want the back line to support the attack. All right, so keep it simple. All right, who are we playing next? I don't know clue. We are playing seven ish. We are Evans' favorite to win this game. Okay, so let's go. All right, so now we're just going to play the game and then tweak it accordingly. Yeah, this McCrean is not even, not worth it. Yeah, there's some players in your squad you never will touch with a 10-foot pole. In fact, this group of players I have right now on the pitch are probably the only players I'll look at to start all games, right? The rest of the players, I can't think of where they're going to play. I mean, I might have missed out on one or two. I might be in my hurry. But... I think that um, McCrean, you can't use him. You gotta, you, you're gonna have to get a player here. All you need is a player here. He's fast, off the ball, and uh, he has he's fast, finishing. <laughs> That's all you need, though. First touch, acceleration, and finishing. That's what you want. And work rate and some aggression, right? The guys in the middle need aggression. You see, you you you, you playing a mid block with players who. Don't have aggression. That's kind of crazy, man. See, Wakeling can't even play the pass. We've got advanced forward running up too high. Okay, all right. So we come in here, turn this guy into a pressing forward, make him run left and right instead of that charge off. So uh, this player, he he tried to release Hepburn Murphy, but man, Murphy wasn't having any of that. <laughs> so that's a bit disappointing. So this is, see what I mean? Okay, okay, good. We get some players getting in. So let's try and see what happens, right? We want to make sure that these players can actually do the deed. Defenders are too slow. Yeah, our defenders are too slow. Lah. So I don't know why I'm playing so deep. Please mid block. Let's go up. Get up there. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. All right. We're not playing mid block anymore. Okay. No play our defense. Okay. So we're going to run and do this defense. And we're going to counter press when we lose the ball. Yeah, we're going to screw. We're going to not play a mid block. Yeah. You're desperately, you desperately need players who have some aggression in midfield. You don't have any. Like none of your players can even help you try and win the ball there. So you've got a whole bunch of uh, pansies in your team. Yeah, you got to... Yeah, this is a... This is bad selection of players. I mean, you can do a lot of things with players with high aggression. You can do very little if you don't have enough players there. I mean, yeah, and your defenders are slow, which is another problem. So you're, you're limit, you kind of like limiting yourself, right? So you first your defenders are slow, then they've got no jumping reach. You're playing mid block. You're inviting teams to attack against a defense that is not built to defend, right? You don't have players in the, uh, who can do a mid block by 
you, and you're limited in terms of roles that you can play with. You can't use ball-winning midfielders because you got nobody in your team that is a ball-winning midfielder. So a lot of this save is down to the classic. I'm choose. I've gone out there and got the wrong players for my squad. So that, yeah, is you got to go back to basics. There's only so much a person can do, you know. Like if I was playing this save, these are the only eleven players I can use. That's the problem right now. So I mean, I'm not saying that you're gonna get relegated. I don't think you are, but I would I would stick to something simple, and I wouldn't play. I won't play a uh, bit block now. I will. I'll become very aggressive with this kind of tactics because I know my players are not good at defending. So why defend? Attack. Let's go, baby. That kind of thing. Now I'm gonna go. So if I find myself in that kind of this kind of situation, I'm attacking all the way. All right. So we're gonna drop off more. They'll drop off more. Um. Yeah. Okay. What we can do, we can do what you did earlier. CD on cover. This guy, advance or attack. And tell him to take more chance, dribble more, and take more risks. Okay, that's it. We might not even want the Kane character to uh, carry uh, drip, carry the ball. Huh? See him on attack. I would, if he can't dribble with the ball, it's Kane guy. If he can't attack the central areas, then I probably wouldn't do it. Um, we're going, we're trying to get third man runs from this tactic as well. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, oh no, okay, we're gonna save this tag thing. Then we can call it right later. I'm never, I haven't done set pieces, but if I were you, I'd make sure that my set pieces, I, your defenders, CM on attack, winger. This is a very basic tactic. Uh, you need the wing backs coming up the pitch and getting you to attack. Um, um, I wanted to try and see whether you could play a 4 2 4, but you don't have the players for it as well. You, If you want to play a 4 2 4, absolutely you need players in the middle who can win the ball for you. Right? Aggression, you need that. But you don't have that. So your selection, your player selection is. Um, your player selection is not. It's quite. Quite. needs a lot of work. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna tweak this slightly. Quick distribute quickly, distribute the flanks, no play our defense. Let's see whether we can launch that ball. Um, I mean, we gotten a bit better, but they, we, I don't see any final third attacks. I don't see the players getting into the final third. Okay, we're gonna build it up a bit more. So focus play left and right. Okay, that's the last bit of this bit of the puzzle. Okay, so this is how I set up because I noticed that you're we, we we need to move the team to one side to get the ball up the pitch. I, this is Swindon. This is uh, Stephen H. This is I don't know what. Um, I don't know. We'll just leave it like that. So, see what I mean? Now we got second half, right? Uh, who do we bring on, boy? I'm looking at the site. I'm looking at the team and going like, who who can we bring on? Yeah, that's it. Um, MCR. Who's this? Sadukan. Can I bring, uh, bring this guy on? And Jake Kane for Ronan Darcy. These are the only players I think I could use. That's not a good result, man. Yeah. Gotta try again. They were third. Yeah. But he's going through a really uh, bad spell recently, so... They struggle. So we managed to tweak, but this is not a good result. Yeah. Okay, it's still work in progress, man. This Okay, tactic. Got this loaded already. K 
Okay, so what was it? Oh, this tank thing, right? And then adding this and this to the tank thing. Okay, all right. Now go to the next game. And then the other thing about, I, I didn't look at your training. I mean, I'm, I think your training, you got to go, so go in there and be specific with your training programs. Right now, you're not being specific, right? My advice is go into the game and then be specific with your training programs. But right now, your biggest problem is your lack of aggression in midfield. No. It, 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 basically, you, you, you put yourself in a very bad position where um, you can't really go out there and... Um, Play with other roles. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got this guy. I'm going to ask him to take more risks and run forward. Okay. Well, focus play left and focus play right. Okay. Let's go. All right. There's, now I'm just going to play on key highlights. Yeah, I'm just watching your boys, right? When you get to the midfield area. Okay. I'm looking. That's one of the reasons why you're playing so much more higher now. Yeah. So we don't have to, like, worry about letting them in. Yeah. All right. Okay. Opposition instructions. No idea what you're doing. Okay. So let's see what you got. All right, we're going to apply opposition instructions. Last piece of the puzzle. Okay, what is this? Trigger press, trigger press, trigger press. What are you trigger? Mm. Okay, you got to hard tackle this guy. Hard tackle this guy. Um, you got to hard tackle this too. And then weak foot. Uh, right, left. Weak foot. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're gonna move. I'm gonna reduce the tempo slightly. We don't have to give the ball away. Tempo sometimes you wanna use that to control matches, right? So that's what we're doing. We're not gonna just hoof the ball up. Sometimes when you play on high tempo, what you see is your boys just, you know, giving the ball away. Now we just want them to build the play up. And there we go. Davin goes back to the goalkeeper. That's interesting because he was being closed down, right? That's actually a smart thing to do. Not too bad. <laughs> so we lowered the tempo. We lower the tempo. I, I see some uh, nice attacking plays. La. Okay. All right. So we see some nice attacking transitions. That one is a bit offside, but there's still hope. Okay. This is good, right? The develop. Okay. So we build up the play. Here's the Kane. Kane looks long and then plays happen in. Happen tries and scores the goal. Simplicity is what we're after with your tactic. The reason why he was do, able to do that was because we already told him to take more risks and dribble more. So Kane now plays that pass right through. He takes the space. Instead of you going down the flanks and doing cutbacks, I mean, you're not some world-class team that can, you know, play like Guardiola side. Hey, let's bring the ball. Let's do that. You, you don't have the players for it. So why I... Yeah, there's no meta, no? Low crosses is not part of a meta. Just because you see some good tactics having it doesn't mean that it's a meta instruction, which is complete garbage. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. Okay. So we got uh that's a good question. We don't have players for this, man. So I was hoping to yeah, we don't have. Okay, Charlie, okay, you come here. <laughs> Let's see how Charlie Austin plays, man. I said advance forward. He doesn't have the he doesn't have the acceleration to be an advance forward. All right, he's probably gonna See what happens when you put Charlie Austin there. Hey, he's got acceleration on nine. He's like, you, we shouldn't have signed him. All right. So sometimes when you bring those these kind of players on, what will happen is um, the game kind of looks at you and goes that oh, you don't have any other options. Hey, yeah, guess what? We're gonna you're gonna concede a goal next. Reese Devine is gonna come off, so we're gonna bring on 
Mr. I don't know who does okay, Joe Tomlinson. You sound he sounds like a no, he can't. Okay, I don't know who to bring on. <laughs> Who's this? Fraser? What your name is? Okay, anticipation, consideration. My goodness. Okay, all right. Joe Tomlinson is going to play on the right. Okay, we're not going to use him, so we got no choice. We got to bring you on. That's. Let me bring you on. Okay, uh, Ronan Darcy. Okay, we bring Ronan Darcy on for Jake Kane. That's three, and we bring Clayton on. That's the last substitution. Okay, we leave the last substitution alone. So what have I done? I substitute one. You need to, okay, if you want to play a 4-3-3, three, three, right? Your most important substitutions are one, two, and these two guys. Generally, what I'll do is I'll substitute all four, all five of them. That's very important because the moment the center falls apart, you get into trouble. So you're going to bring Tom, Tom Glenn. Because you need these players to do, do the hard work for you in the center, right? So, and... Um, yeah, so far we've been lucky, you know. Defend, we've defended well from set pieces. <laughs> Charlie Austin is so slow he can't even turn. <laughs> See what I mean? Charlie Austin is so slow he can't even turn, man. He takes the ball and then he's so slow. Look, he takes the ball, he's so slow. No, I can't to turn now. <laughs> Shit, he turns and then he, he gives the ball to the opposition player. Yeah, he can't. He can't play with Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin is a complete waste of space in your tactic, right? So you're paying wages for nothing, All right? So, I mean, we play enough of this to know what your weaknesses are. You, your weaknesses are very simple. You've gone out there and you've added the wrong players to your team, okay? So you got to go out there and sign the right kind of players. You need players in here who have some aggression and the basics, basics, right? Like first touch, anticipation, concentration, that basics. It doesn't matter if they're 10, that's it. Okay. And for heaven's sakes, uh, don't fall for the whole potential attribute nonsense. Okay. It's worthless. <laughs> Unless they're on loan. Okay. Other than that, don't don't waste your time. Because some players here like Kiaran Brandon, you brought him in on a loan. He's a okay, maybe he can play as a left back, right back. Okay. Luke Jabcott. Yeah, maybe, but how are we gonna add him to the squad? Maybe he can play as an inside forward. He can come in as another striker, but yeah, that's about it. Um uh, looking looking through this team, Joe Tomlinson, yeah, he's, a, he's basically going to be your next right back. I mean, I would all play every single game with uh, Mr. Hepburn Murphy. That's all. Uh, I have no, I have, I have to teach my son, uh, myself. That's what I got to do. Reese Devine, he's okay. He can play on the left. So he got a few left, decent left backs. But where you are currently struggling is in your DM department. Like, you probably will end up having to play Landono as well as um, Tom Clayton as your two holding players. All right, these are your two holding midfielders. Then your problem is your lack of guts in the center of the park. So you need to get players. I mean, this is not bad if you had a bit more aggression, right? But and a bit more anticipation. So the thing is that you can't play with um, this guy. Is like basically uh, going to be another box to box midfielder. He can't do anything else, right? can't win really aggressively we help you win the ball so my advice is don't sit in the mid block and wait for things to happen i think you need to aggressively take the game to the opposition and then you got to sub one two three four these four are the players these four, you have to have players that can come off the bench and take over these four positions up top you only have happened murphy two this inside forward you, i would play wakeling here as a right winger kane as a cm on attack because he's got the best attributes for CM on attack in your team because he is going to see things before most of the other players. He might not make the right decision. We saw that earlier in one of the highlights, but you are definitely going to be in a good position if you can get somebody here just attacking this area. It doesn't mean... Okay. The thing about the game is it plays to the attributes as well. So if your player's got passing, vision, decisions, and flair, he's going to find the right kind of pass. It doesn't mean it has to be played as a playmaker, right? The reason, other reason why you use him as a CM on attack is because then we got another player pushing through the middle, getting forward whenever possible. Here, box to box, by my ideal position, my ideal ro uh, role here would have been a ball winning midfielder. But you don't have one. So we were forced to play with a box to box midfielder. Why did we play in inside forward? You can play inside forward here, you can play another winger. But I went for inside forward so that we can at least have a uh, two prong attack this way. So we, we came coming in here, a person doing those kind of passes, and this guy also doing directing passes to this side. Then you might have an uh, option to score more, more than um, have um, more than one goal scorer here. So I'd, if I were to play this safe, this is exactly what I do. I think that you'd have to. 
fix a few things with this tactic. All right. Now it's time for us to continue with bring your tactics. Okay. Now, where did we stop the last time? I think we were in Borussia. Did we take Borussia Dortmund? I think we did, right? I'm not sure. No. I have no idea what team we were using the last time, but we'll just pick some random team up. All right. Looking at the Discord Dropbox, we've got two tactics we're going to look at first. So we're going to download these two tactics. I hope, I hope that helped. Huh? I know there's somebody out there. I hope it helped you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got these two coming in. And did I download both or did I download? Did I just download one? I'll just download. Okay. I don't know, man. Shit. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, file. Open new window. Okay. Let's go to downloads. Downloads. Download it. Downloads. Uh, yeah. We only download that. Downloaded this tactic. So we'll come in here. Nope. Come in here. <laughs> come on down. Please. You're going all over the shop today. Okay, the wire, download this. All right, we'll try, we'll try and get some stuff done. Once again, um, like I said before, right? My time now is very, very short, right? Very, very short to do a lot of this stuff because I've had to really focus on my sons. My son's uh, education is... I'm having a really tough time right now because the school isn't geared. I'm not going to say too much now, but... Some of you already know because I mentioned it on stream. I don't keep talking about it because it's just annoying. Yeah. So I don't get annoyed. <laughs> just let's just put it, let's just uh say it, just say it one way. Uh, you know, I almost blew a gasket, man, last week. Uh, my wife saw my reaction. I almost went like, okay, I want I wanna <laughs> I wanna eat into someone. <laughs> Literally chew them up. And I just kept quiet. Hey, sometimes you have to deal with what the cuts the the cuts you dealt right i mean there are other ways i can approach this uh, but i didn't want to be negative about it so i'm just doing doing the best i can do with what i have right and i mean i'm i'm improving that it can be done okay all right we got these two tags we're gonna take a look at both of them okay so now once again this is different <laughs> now we play with your tactic for the first 45 minutes Okay, now for the last one that we did, which is basically a bit of game changer, it's very important when you go into this game, 90% of the saves that you might be struggling with, down to players and the ones that you added in your, to your club. Right, if I, when playing this game, focus on what you want their role to do. Now, this becomes challenging because when you're making tactics the first time, you always think, is, I can't see the transitions happening. I know that's not, it's, it's kind of challenging to do that, right? <laughs> but just do the basics. Like winger, you know, is going to go down the flanks, cross the ball. Wing back is going to dribble with the ball and go down the flanks. Box to box, going to go to one box to the other box. That's it, right? Inside forward, yeah, he might start wide, but he's going to attack the box, right? And become like a second goal scorer. Inverter winger, yeah, he's gonna see the, he's gonna be wide, then he cuts into the half space. Then he's gonna use his he's gonna use his preferred foot, right, to to uh, dial one in with the cross. And he doesn't he doesn't go down the flanks like a winger does, but he plays those kind of balls with the outside of his foot from the uh, from the middle uh, final third, top of the final third. So once you understand the movement patterns, right. Keep it simple. And then the other thing is this, right? Don't don't overcomplicate stuff. Like, you know, if, oh, I, I, I want to, I want my, I want to have six players attacking the box. Therefore, I need to create like a four with a one here and five in attack. No, you don't. You can have a four, two, three, one with eight attacking the box. It depends on your attack duties. That's it. Yeah. Don't overcomplicate the game. Too many people are overcomplicating the game, man. 90% of this game I tell you something, uh, it's a very... One of the, okay, I think the guys, I think Simji and uh, Godspurs and the rest have been with Chico and been with, me, with us for a long time. You remember my book from 2017, right? 80... Was it 2017 or 2018? 80 pages of them were attributes. So. Buddy, this... Can you imagine? 80 pages of my book were just attributes. Talk, and not explaining attributes, talking about the interaction of all the attributes. Like, attributes work together. And the danger for most of you guys is when you're playing the game... You're thinking that, oh, defending, a defender needs tackling. No! Defenders can play really well with negative, with like, you know, five for tackling. Because they've got very good anticipation, consideration, aggression. Why? Because they don't need, and positioning. Because they don't need to tackle. They just get into the place before anybody else does. So why do you need tackling for? So, you know, look at this, look at the system you're playing and, you know, 
go from there. Okay, let's look at this tactic. We've got this double inverter wing back and then wing... Okay, nice. I actually like this tactic. Why? Because uh, when inverter wing backs come into this space, on a, this guy's on attack, right? So maybe... Okay, I mean... Yeah, box to box, he will, he will enter the space when this guy goes forward. So what I like to use in this kind of positions is get further forward. He gets into our position area means... Okay... Try killer ball. So we okay, okay, maybe we'll see how this plays out. It's not a bad move. I mean, Hummels is a bit like the slow, <laughs> slow man. So we'll, we'll look for another defender because <laughs> we don't slow. Ogbona, you can't play. Okay, all right, good. Okay, who else have we got? We got Eddie Amy. Hey, hey. Have we got another striker here. I thought this one, this safe has got some funky strikers. Okay, we want somebody fast. Donia Marlin. Okay, and who this? Who the heck is this guy? I don't know man, how this save ended up with all these players. Okay, this I think is one of those bring your tactics kind of like let's pop in a few plays and see what happens kind of show. <laughs> okay. Uh okay, I mean Eddie Amy is fun now. Let's play with Eddie Amy. Okay, all right. Okay, so we got all these players. CM on attack. Okay, so fine. Doesn't need a doesn't need a tackling. He needs some anticipation. Uh, some I mean, I I know a lot of people don't like aggression. I love aggression. I'm <laughs> That's the most one of the most brilliant attributes in the game right now. FM24. In previous editions of Football Manager, aggression was a bit of a liability, I agree. But like FM23 and 24, man, aggression became like my holy grail attribute. You know how many, um, how how many um uh, uh, how many times I get I salivate when I get a play with 19 aggression. I salivate, man. I look at the player, I go like he's got lots of aggression. Yeah, I played Neymar as a libero before. But that was the point. You can play anyone, anywhere. The point is, what do you want the role to do? See, the difference between a good player and a bad player, or a player who understands the game really well, is the player who understands the game very well will be able to look at any player and say, okay, fine, I want to use him in this role because I only need him to do this. That's it. That's when the game becomes beautiful and simple. And becomes a bit more, uh, you know, that's when you, also your ego takes a bit of a, you know, sometimes you get a bit like, oh, I want to try this, I want to try that. And then become, you, that's when you enter funky land. Uh, you can make uh, really good replications as well. Okay. All right, not too bad. Okay, what's with this tactic? I'll be 45 minutes on, right? Nothing wrong with this tactic. <laughs> Only thing I would change. Uh, <laughs> we're going to change a couple of things, but very minor changes. This is one of those, okay, when I play inverted wing backs, right, there's a lot of control, meaning the opposition doesn't get to use the ball a lot. Yeah. But it comes at a it comes at a price. The price is complete domination in midfield. I will dominate the midfield. Right. If I want to unload on a team, then what I need to do is I need to release my wing wing backs. Okay, so looking at this right now. Okay, so what we got? We got okay. I'm gonna drop the tempo to really low, and I'm not gonna bother here early crosses. Gotta ride the defense. Same thing, <laughs> nothing else, right? I don't think you need to change much with much with your tactic, right? So all these are, yeah. You just have to go a bit. Uh, yeah, you basically just gonna tell your team to take its own sweet ass time to score goals now. Uh, and we have a slight problem, Houston. We came in no substitutes for these two positions. Except for Sally Oshan. Okay, this, this is going to be fun. Well, Guerrero should have been on the bench. Idiot, Daljit, you stupid fool again. <laughs> you did the wrong thing. <laughs> I did the wrong thing again. <laughs> I, put a wrong... I didn't come with all the subs, man. So let's hope we score all the goals before we need to bring subs on. Okay, Bran plays the ball forward. Yeah, I see him on attack. Tempo too fast. All right, so we lower the tempo. Halfback, I think... You see, those inverted wing backs don't magically make your tactic better, you know. They just give you control. So what I'm going to do with him is uh, go forth and conquer, uh, you know. You might as well just go forth. And then we'll just bring on, um, let's try something. I mean, if it was me, right, and I needed to score a lot more goals, I'd probably turn this guy into like, okay, the first choice would not be to do what I just did. i I'd just come in here and go like, you know, all right, just go wing back on the tank. That's it. Okay, that's the first choice. Why? Because now he overlaps. So I get more attack options in the final third, right? So instead of just stretching the team and depending on those two wingers, now I've got this guy going around, this player. 
And we have the option of going down the flank. Something that uh, Pep Guardiola does with uh, Manchester City sometimes, right? So he used to do that quite a lot. But then you need to have a player that's smart enough to know when to be a wing back and when to be a DM. Right? Many of those kind of players in the game, man. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> so here we go. Eddie Amy back to Hazard. Uh, Bellingham is getting tired these two guys are getting tired but overall I won't change this tactic too much I think it's still a good tactic only problem with this uh, this is uh, whether you have enough players or not that's all to come up and make the changes that you need to make okay so we swap these guys around I'll play Bellingham on attack because he's got gets into opposition area as well but this 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 okay when you play with a halfback this split right this doesn't really help you very much. I don't think I'm going to use a halfback. I think this one, you're better off using a, a roaming playmaker or a DM. Yeah, because this guy's going to come here. Then you've got two defenders, right? So you have your three and this guy's you left to carry the ball. Now you got another player who can carry the ball in the center. Yeah. So I would probably just... I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not a big fan of the halfback arrangement like this. Then you've got... You're really depending on these two outer players to move the ball out. I mean, we're totally dominating, but we're not creating very much, which is going to be the problem. So you're going to have to release like a wing back, um, release your DM, okay? So you don't get him to be a halfback. Get players to charge up the pitch as well. Now we're running out of players. Okay, so I'm going to play Munier as a disposition. Wow, we are playing players out of position. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All these players are out of position. I got no idea. We didn't come with those players. But this is exactly what I'll do, right? I'll just go attack them um, into the final third. I mean, advance forward, going this way, me, you might be even better off changing this role to a pressing forward. Yeah. So this could be like a, a better role for you in the sense that he'll bring play, he'll bring others into play instead of being the focal point of all attacks. So when the pressing four gets the ball, he's going to shift to the left, shift to the right. And then those wingers can be goal scoring threats as well. Yeah, but I go inverted wing back. It's just like I said, when we started, right? All this tactic is when you play a double inverted wing backs, it's great for control. Right? And then you're always going to end up in this situation. How do I score goals? You're always going to end up like this. It's not, you know, yeah. So you're going to have to release your players. You can't be expecting it to work all the way. Uh, I would, I think for me, I personally prefer CM on attack and ball winning midfielder. Yeah, I like that combination the most. Yeah. Because it's very front foot, very attacking. Because when I play CM on attack, I always turn this guy into a ball winning midfielder. One of my favorite roles right now is this combination. Then I, I don't play halfback. I think it's too passive. I go DLP on support. Or I'll play a roaming playmaker. In fact, I like this combination the most. All right, this guy can knock from the back. And then I won't play. I, I rarely play with a double inverted wing back pair. I rather have I rather have this. I rather have a lot of aggression in my tactic. Then it builds up play this way. We got roaming playmaker. This guy attacking this side. I get an inside forward. So now what I have is actually a double prong attack. So these two can attack. In fact, these three are all attacking. See, this guy can, can be played as a pressing forward on attack, pressing forward on support. Right, you can play a tactic. If I'm playing against a team that's set up to defend, then maybe I do pressing forward support. This guy drops, right? When he drops deep, he releases this guy as the blind man running into the box because this central midfielder is attacking. This inside forward is attacking. I don't want to do this. Then I'll go wing back to give him more width. In fact, I think this is a much better 4 3 3. Yeah. So you don't have to do like this kind of attack. You can have focus play both ways. You can attack from both sides of the pitch. All right. So next tactic. P -p 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 Puppy power. Where are we now? Go to D. D. Boss interactive. And then we come to tactics. DYT. The wire. Long time no see, brother. Ah. Ah. Okay. Not bad. Interesting tactic. See, the difference, the thing is, right? When you play, I, when, okay, when do I use inverted wing backs? I actually use inverted wing backs in a five man backline. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? Okay, because in it, I'll play five at the back, five at the back, uh, and then like two DMs, right? And play with two inverted wing backs. 
Then the inverted wingbacks are very narrow attacking wingers from deeper positions. Very counter-attacking, very attacking tactic. Yeah. As one, two, three, I drop this guy here, play this is inverted wingbacks. Maybe sometimes you don't put a DM here, so they got five here. Then I get one and two and three into attack. Inverted wingbacks carry. These three become your defenders. White center back, white center back, and defender. Yeah. Another option. But yeah, I think you have one of those tactics in the drop box. It's called Gogan. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite fun. Quite quite crazy tactic. Okay, so go on holiday. Next match. All right, let's see if we've got any more. Okay, all right. So I'm going to put up the link for you. Ow, my shoulder. I'm going to put up the link for you guys. Oh, no. Oh, she's too bad. Uh, I'll be back in a sec. Oh, I can't. My leg is going to kill me, but okay, okay, okay. I can't do it. My back is going to kill me too. I injured my back. I injured my back again. Uh, my back is my back is done for, man. No, no workouts for the next few days as well. Uh, but I, every time I get up, I feel like I, every time I get up, it feels like my back is about to break. So I have to be very careful. Okay, the link is there. All right, so we'll take about we'll take a we'll take a few tactics. We won't be able to do all of them. Yeah. We'll try and do as many as we can. Okay, so where I can't play the tactic, I will I will talk about the tactic. I'll I'll do my best to cover as I'll do my best to do all the tactics. Okay. Guys, and I mean it, you know, this year, if you do not ignore aggression, the only time you don't, the, the only time you might not sign a player with high aggression is when that player has got the competitive streak in them. That's all. Oh, nothing happened. What the hell? It's my wife. Oh, shit, man. What the hell here? How can we how can we prevent the opposition inverter with the invert? Because remember we form normally force inside you force inverter and the be crowded. Just play white. That's all. Attack the it attack the space where the inverter wing back is attacking with wingers and inside forwards. Yeah, that's what I would do. You see, when I see the when I see an opposition team playing with inverter wing backs, I know that their only attack option is those in my those players in my final third, right? So what I do is I put that flank under a lot of pressure because that the moment the inverter wing back becomes tired, that team is done. They are gonna be ripe for the attack. Right? Even if I was playing a network game as well, I'll do the same thing. I see the moment I see inverter wing backs, game over for the other person. Because I will attack those inverter wing backs. I'll attack them with like inside forwards on attack, one inside forward on attack, and one winger on attack. So both sides, there will be a lot of flank-based attacks. Uh, so this is not a bad tactic. Uh, ball winning midfielder seems a bit is a bit of an interesting role. Um, here we, I don't think he's got any PIs and TIs, which is fine. All right, very simplistic. I mean, I won't say simplistic, but there's not a TI. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, um, like um, crazy PIs and TIs, right? So that's good as well. Okay, we've got. Uh, we're gonna bring some of these players. We make sure that this time we have a few fullbacks. Uh. Yeah, we got Wo who the heck is this guy? Wo Yoda. Okay, all right. Hummels. Uh, we got striker and Haller. I don't think we need so many strikers. Okay, we need more mids. Uh, bring Amrish Chan, injured or not. Uh, and then Nico Schultz also can play in midfield, I guess. So uh, we got right back. We got right winger. Uh, right back. Uh, okay, all right. I guess I guess this should be fine. 
Organeza, Felix Basla, Julian Brown, one, two. I don't think we need three. We just need one. Um, so I think uh, we can... Hazard can... Hazard for Nico Schultz, okay. Nico Schultz is not 100% as well, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. All right, cool. All right, so we go. Let's see, right? I think this tactic is not... Again, what... 4 3 trees, right? Don't rush the... I think you can play a high tempo, high aggression if you're playing high up the pitch. Other than that, I will just... I'll just take my own sweet time with it. Uh, I'll just take my own sweet time. My wife is stressing out as well. That's the thing. So, I don't want my wife to stress out and then drive the car and... You know, she gets tired, right? The last thing I have... Last thing I want to do is... Stress her out and then she drives the car and then she something happens. So yeah. I'm trying to find a way. So challenging, I guess. But then we'll get there. Alright, so looking at this, there we go. I mean I'm not I don't think this is bad. I think it's good. I mean, when you're playing against a diamond, it gets things gets things get quite interesting. Alright, so the diamond is gonna be able to build up play very easily down the left and the right, right? So what I'll make sure you do is you come in here, go focus, focus. Okay. All right. Um, that's what I would do immediately. I see a diamond. Prevent show distribution. Okay. So, and then we drop off more. We're playing a higher defensive line. So, we get the guys to drop that line, right? So, whenever we lose the ball at the top, boys will try and get back into shape first. So, now we're focusing left and right instead of just going through the center. The problem with our the problem for us is right now is going to be those... Um, I, I changed. I'm supposed to let you play a tactic. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Because I made a change straight away because I know that we'll concede a goal if I don't make those changes. Yeah, we're cancelled. So we're still on your tactic. <laughs> we've got 45 minutes. I forgot. I'm not supposed to make changes. Uh, I'm not supposed to make changes. So I have to make sure that I don't make any changes. Because you need to focus. See, the more I see a diamond, I go focus, play left and right. I can, might increase width and now uh, reduce a bit tempo. Yeah. What's the best role of a striker leading the line but not always running behind and able to play simple pass? Come back, PF on support. Yeah, pressing forward on support. You want to drop, but not always running behind, right? And able to play simple cross combinations. Yeah, PF on support is the best. Yeah. Because if you play a Advance forward, he's always trying to break the line. You play a pressing forward attack, he's trying to break the line or go to the flanks. Pressing forward support doesn't break the lines. He just drops off. He will get into the final third and be a very good point goal scorer. But when he can't be a good goal scorer, when he can't score goals, right? You know, he can't break away. He's gonna just look for a passing option. And the passing option is always gonna be the one behind him. And if you have a CM on attack, go for pressing forward and support. Can't I can't stress out how, how lovely that combination actually plays. Very nice. It's a very nice combination. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is your tactic, right? We haven't changed, right? We're not allowed to change, right? Shit. My hands are tight, man. Let's go to key highlights. Yeah. I can't change. I can't change. I have to remember this. Can't change. Uh, but, but for the rest of the tactics, we'll be changing afterwards because uh, we'll go through them quite quickly. Naturally, this is my point of view. I'm just sharing it with you. I'm not... This show is not meant to be like, oh, look, you know, I have a better way of playing your tactic. Of course not. It's just a different point of view. What I would do. How I would play it. And that's it. Yeah, it's not meant to be, look at me, I'm better than you. Your tactic is not as good as you think it is. <laughs> but look, looking at this tactic, it's not bad. But you know what I would do that's slightly different? I would actually play this guy here. So I'll play this role much higher. See, instead of this guy running around here and sometimes being out of position, I'll do it here. So do it here instead. So you play a ball with him if they're here and a DLP here. Now what you get now is a player that will do the running around defending here, but he won't run away. He won't be too far away. Now you get this player creating havoc in the final third. So now the thing is we're going to have to change these guys around slightly. Okay, we'll play Bellingham as a ball when he may fit Reyna as the uh, CM on the tank. Okay, so slight slight change. Not major. And then we do a focus play left and right because we're playing against a diamond. I'll, I I want to stretch this team a bit more. Okay. Um, 
I think this is fine. We do prevent shock goalkeeper distribution. Okay. And finally, drop off more. All right. Okay. That's it. Only changes we make. Okay. So instead of now, uh, instead of, so what we'll do is this ball winning midfield is not going to be an issue for this role here because we're going to try and break this up. And with the DLP on defense, he's going to be a much more static uh, target against an AM. Right, so the AM is not going to have free reign anymore. So now we're going to just make some changes because 60th minute players too tired. So if we don't change things around, we might have a very tired bunch of players. Okay, Guerrero and Yada. Okay, let's go. I mean, this is probably oh. Sometimes, uh, okay, to answer the question, I'm pressing for no support. So he drops deep. Uh, I'll play winger on support. They still create, but they give us width. Inverted wingers are too close to these guys. Whereas wingers, on the other hand, they'll be a bit more uh, wider, right? They'll have a better role. But this is probably the way I would set up the 4 four three three. It's a bit more safer. I mean, you can use a pressing forward or a pressing forward. Pressing forward here support because you work with well with the you work well with the CMA, but your the one that you set up would not you know play too well against the uh, uh, diamond. Defending me, I mean I don't see this being a problem after that. Uh, so I don't, it's not goal, but I would just play like this. I mean we didn't have much time to change. Uh. <laughs> we tried. I'm not a magician, man. Yeah, I'll probably go pressing for support. Okay, so here, I think this tactic, it's not a bad start, but I think this, we want to stretch teams. This guy has more space, right, to attack. So this is pretty safe. This is not a bad tactic, but just now, I want more interaction between these two roles. I'll go pressing forward and support so that there's more interaction between these two roles. Right, so this would be definitely one way to do it. You know, go focus, play focus, play left and right. Prevent the short goalkeeper distribution in front. Uh, drop off more, step up more. So this is up to you. You want to squeeze play, step up more. You want to be a bit more safety first in mind, then use this. I think this is this is, this would be a good way to play it. Uh, and here, I would swap the two roles here. DLP here and ball winning midfielder or box to box midfielder. Whichever one you prefer. I think this will be a much better combination here instead of the one that you had where this player runs away and against like teams that play with the AM, you might have an issue. Here he's more static. He's going to give the AM a lot of problems. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the other tactics that made it. Uh, five requests. Let's see what we have. I'm going to pick a few. Let's see if we can get a few done. Um, There we go. We uploads. We're taking today's tactics. So we are going to order this. Like this. And then we're going to take everything. No, to, I think go to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, the rest will delete. Okay. I mean, it's always going to be exposed. Think, the thing about this, the game is, it's about risk, man. This game, you want to take, you want to score goals. Sometimes you take chances, right? So it's up to you. If you if you are not willing, if you don't, you don't want to take the risk. That's also up to you. Yeah. Right. Of course, you take a chance when you're playing like that. I mean that would be I would probably play you can if you're worried then play with fullbacks but fullbacks pass the ball inside and that's one of the reasons why just now I didn't want to use fullbacks because they're passing the ball inside into an area where they already have so many players so that's the reason why I didn't do it yeah. okay so we got this we're gonna uh, wait hold on come back in here delete this too and come back in here Extract files, data, sports interactive, tactics, BYT, done. Come in here, 
Lord. Um. Okay, we got tactics here. We'll start with um this tactic. <laughs> We're gonna play the first tactic I picked today. DLF, DLF, DLF. Okay, that's a lot of funky rolls here. Goes this way, goes this way. Okay. I mean, I mean it could be fun, but the problem is this this kind of a tactic. Half space, half space. This guy has a lot of work. Right, I mean, yeah, it can definitely play quite interestingly well. I but I definitely won't use low crosses. Don't limit yourself to a low cross. I think it's pretty pretty um they got cross aim target forward, but you're not using a target for it. Cross aim target forward. Cross aim target forward, but you're not using target forwards. See narrow e soft tackles. Take furious. Drill more, close down more. Yeah, we can play this, but yeah, the role in the center needs to be changed. Huh? Yeah. We can we'll try. I mean, I'll look at it and then I think that you will struggle in a lot of your games because um, of the center. Yeah. The reason you will struggle is because those two roles, Mazan and Carrillo, are going to go into the half spaces. The roaming playmaker is the only player in the middle. You don't have a world-class roaming playmaker who can dribble with the ball and do something with it. You're going to struggle. Right. So you're going to have to hope that he plays, he's good enough to play the ball out to the wing backs. Since those wing backs, since those wing backs aren't running too high up the pitch, you want those wing backs taking more risks. I uh, definitely want them because you want those wing backs to play the ball out and towards the flanks. Okay, here we go. So let's look at the tactic. All right, so those, the center is going to be a place that is going to be kind of porous. Um, okay. Yeah, center is going to be porous. So and your flanks will get exposed as a result. See. Wow. These guys are... Your, do, Oh, this is bad, man. Dude, this guy ended up here behind your defenders. Uh, we, like, you can see, right? Your players are getting pulled out of position too easily. Because it's always going to happen. They, they, first up, you're giving them a run, the run down the flanks here. Right? You're getting a run. This guy comes out. And then you... Where is this guy? 
There's a defending there. That's about it. Then he runs all the way back. And boom. Another goal. Because your Mazala is going to be in the... Yeah, he's a half-space defender. But the thing is, you giving them an easy run out. Yeah. They play a 4-3-3. These guys are easily positioned. These two are overrunning this side of the pitch. This guy goes half-space. Yeah. So even if you play... Even if you... And you got swap as well. If you got swap... Dribble more run wide. Well, I mean, ease off tackles. I think this is a crazy tactic, like, you know. I probably would never play anything like this. This won't work. Uh, it won't work because you're telling players to ease off tackles as well. Like, I I, I think this is suicide in the middle. Yeah. I mean, we, we can see it. They'll start. I mean, we're going to have to change things around, man. Defensive, if you're to defend. I'll go box to box. This guy... No ease off tackles, no sit narrower. I mean, I would probably play wing back on support and then take more risks for some deep. Yeah. Um, support. Take more risks. Uh, cross some deep. That's in target for you. Don't have one. Bring back on support, bring back on support. I probably don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Uh, don't do this. Uh, definitely don't do this, don't do this. Okay, don't do this, do this. Don't do this. You, this guy's not defending, right? You saw that, right? They don't come here to defend. Why are you playing a low block? Stay. Stay on feet. Drop off more is better. Uh, they're not coming back to help you defend. They, they, they'll never help you come back and defend. So this guy should... If you want this guy to come into this hole. Don't play him as a DLF. Then you bust the gut to get into the final. In fact, you probably play all three of them as Rekwatistas. Yeah. Um, Mazala on attack, box to box, DM on defense, CD, CD, okay. I mean, still, it's a bit crazy, uh, but at least you won't concede as many as four goals. Uh. We could save four goals, man. Uh, you know, use wingbacks. First highlight where we are the ones with the ball. That's the first highlight where we have the ball. Instead of a non-stop attack from the AI, this is the first time I see us with the ball. All we did was change this guy instead of have a Carrello. Now we got wingers of support. We anchor this side of the pitch. I mean, I probably wouldn't even play these guys on attack. I just play Mazala on support. Okay. Then get these guys to cross early. Cross on deep and cross early. And then pass into space. Yeah, okay. Now I've got... These guys, I'm hoping what they do is... I don't want them to go all the way, right? So I just want them to pass it into space and then we can attack. Yeah, so I probably would not even bother. I mean, yeah, you want to double Mazalas or so is possible in this setup. Then all I have is a crossing army. Yeah, so now we get into the attack third and we get a goal. All right, so what I can do here now is do a double Mazala combination. Now I got a crossing army. Yeah, this guy stays. In fact, this guy can even be an anchor. Okay, so now we got a crossing army. Okay, so... We got left and right because DM anchor might be a bit too safe. Right? Too safe. Meaning um he doesn't venture too far from the defenders. Okay. But we well see. I mean, but it's definitely infinitely better than what you had just now. Right? Your your selection is not something I would go for. Yeah. Yeah. So now we got this guy half back, half back, and then he can play the pass down into the space. For players getting there, I can attack with three. So, I can now get a better attacking pattern. So, instead of what you're doing, don't do that, right? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah so your, your substitution strategy is always going to be... I mean, I'm, I don't even know whether these players can play in those positions, but we'll just make changes. Um, 
I don't know. Who can play here? Uh, put this guy here. Okay, all right. So when when you set up like this, now becomes like this wing back comes to this this mazala comes here wing back boom one over the top wing back mazala one over the top so we get these guys crossing all the time and then we get this anchor who doesn't move too far away so we got three in the center so we're always using the width full width of the pitch and then we move the ball into a goal scoring position it's so much more smoother and more efficient than what you were doing just now right so I think if you want to change, you want to play the tactic the way you're playing it, the way you're doing it just now, that's, you have to look at securing areas of the pitch, right? And those two wingbacks on defense don't do not do not do you any favors as well. I mean, you can use wingbacks on defense, but i I rather have those wingbacks making those risky passes down the line because that's where my players are, right? So who, why do you want... I don't know, the wingbacks can work to hand in hand with the other um, Mazala. And then we keep the center solid right so this wing back at least he's he's attacking the flanks and then you see the two defenders yeah this is the only point where you might run into trouble if that wing back does that so what you do is you come inside here right? you have this option here in this game right tell him to dribble less so we saw that happening you just all you have to do is dribble less right maybe mark tight i don't need to mark tight do see narrow is like don't even bot. Don't do no no no. Don't add sit narrower because it's, you need this guy to help you defend later. You don't have to tuck inside and form a four, and you think that these two guys are gonna come and help you defend. They probably won't be in positions to do so, right? So you want him to go out and do the work so that the others also can help you defend. Now we're doing we're doing okay. Then we can hit on the counter. Right? Ah, what a waste. Ah, Lewandowski scores. Ah, we managed to score one goal, but unfortunately for us, he didn't. But, okay, so to reiterate, right? Uh, now we now it's down to whether we have the players for this tactic. Uh, so, uh, this guy, do you have anybody else? I'm going to have to put him there. Because this guy is going to be very important. So your substitution strategy is always very standard. You're always going to change the same players all the time. The two wingbacks... These three are always going to be changed. The first three that you change, the wing backs and the anchor man in the center. But this tactic in itself, right, is not going to be like you can see. Right, the only way you're going to do is like your one dimensional attacking pattern. Score, hope to score goals all day long. Oh, yeah, we can change this. Oh, DLF on attack. Just go pressing forward. Pressing forward. Pressing forward. What do pressing forwards do? They go, they run the channels as well, right? They go left and right. So this guy's pressing the defenders all the time, running the channels, and they go on track what he start dropping deep. The only the only role there that's not gonna be um giving you issues is the I mean uh, it's what I meant. Like, I mean you you can try all you we can try all we like, right? But something like this, can you expect it to be defensively solid for 90 minutes? don't think so because you got a mazala and mazala going here i told you this anchor man is going to have a lot of work to do right so i think the first one we did was box to box right box to box is better one box to box one um one box to box and one mazala is better it's safer but you do two mazalas yeah you can but it's gonna be very very risky and you could lose your job as a manager <laughs> yeah all right, next next tactic. Next tactic, we're gonna talk about it first line. We we won't be loading it. We won't be playing with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to go through all the tactics like that actually. Yeah, because I just got a message. I have to respond to it. So yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of lot lot to answer for. Okay, so I think that was. I think that was the first tactic, right? Four one three two. Okay, we're looking at the. 1863421. Okay, not bad. Wing attack. I like this. Wing is attacking. This guy's attacking. This defend duty. Turn this guy into a ball playing defender. You need this guy to be a ball playing defender. He can be on cover. Don't play him on stopper. Do not play this guy on stopper. You want a V in defense. You don't want a uh inverted V. You need this guy coming up here, this guy coming up here, and this guy sit, sitting in the center. Please don't put yeah. If you want, you can make these guys do the old fashioned mark tighter, right? So get them to mark tight. You want these guys to always mark tight. So get them to mark tight. 
So whenever there's a threat, they handle the threat. This guy is a mouth. Uh, Volante DM is fine. Uh, this is okay. AP dropping here. Wing back coming this way. This guy attacking. Yeah, this is fine. Don't change the tactic except for the small little changes I added. Other than that, this player, you can actually tell him to uh, close more often. And even get further forward if you want to. Right? But I normally get him to close down even more because he can actually be quite aggressive in the final third. Pressing four goes left and right. Shadow striker attacks the space. This guy covers. Yeah. Play a guy with good passing, vision, decisions, and flair inside here. Otherwise, don't change the tactic. The tactic is fine. Shorter passing, you can lower the tempo, you can go higher, you can play like this. Yeah, you can play like this, or you can play like this. Both are fine. But this is a good tactic. Yeah, don't change it. There's nothing wrong unless... If you're struggling with this tactic, it's down to the fact that you just need to get better players. That's all. Other than that, this is a very good tactic. Yeah. It's a very good 4 2 3, three 4 2 one And I've played quite a lot of 3 4 2 ones right now. Yeah, I'll be playing a lot of them. 4 3 3. The 4 3 3 AP on attack. AP on attack with him. Okay, this is a double flank attack. So, what you do is you play focus played on the left. Why? Because you've got these roles here who are going to be very creatively unlocking sides for these two guys to attack. In this particular case, I probably will be playing a pressing four. You don't want too many players trying to cook the juice here. You got too many. You got DLF on support. You got IAV. You got AP. Right? You got so many creators. Get this guy just to drop. He drops, he passes the ball to one of these guys, right? So these guys can do something with the ball, right? Uh, complete wingbacks are fine. Pass it shorter, take few risk and mark tighter. Yeah, but I think I'll just change it like this. Focus play on the left. You can, okay, underlap, underlap is fine, but um, it it aggressively raises your... Okay, I, what I would do, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't play underlap here. Underlapping here is fine. This guy holds up the widest player, holds up the ball, looking for inside run. You got inside run here. You also got these guys making runs. So, I overlap only on the left side. Underlap only on the left side here. Yeah, don't do it on the right side. Again, a world ball into box is not necessary, right? He, he, you don't need it. But if you are a good team and you want to break down the side, then do this, right? You had fairly wide work ball into box and then reduce your tempo, right? Other that, that, most games you can play like this, right? You want to break a team down? Then do this. Okay, so you can draw, you can move a team around, right? And then uh, you don't have to dribble less. In fact, this tactic, if you want to run a defense, draw yellow cards is also quite an option. I mean, uh, looking at just this, you no, know, I think it's a solid tactic. Don't have to change too much. Yeah, if if yeah, another one of those tactics, you the, you don't have players for it, then you struggle. Because four three three tactics are all about players. Okay, so. Next track, take Casador, tick. Okay, we got this. Oh, 4-4-2 four, four, oh, four, four, white diamond, nice. Okay, I don't like these tactics. Why? Because, all right, you see, the reason is when he come inside here, you got a lot of central attack. He's got a central build up, right? Okay, then you got these guys hugging the line. So what you end up doing is, you end up seeing um, all your all your chances being over the balls over the top. You don't have anybody giving you with. So what you want to do is, you can maintain this setup. Get players who run wide with ball and gets into opposite, uh, runs wide with ball and gets further forward in these positions all the time. All the time. These guys have to have those kind of traits. Very attacking players who just want to attack the space. Then you get caught it. Like here, you, here you can also ask him to take more risks. All right. These guys are quarterbacks after that. So they also try to do the quarterback passes from the back. So now you got one, two, three, four, five. All of them trying to play quarterback passes. You don't need to be more disciplined in this. Early crosses is fine. You can also use pass into space. I probably would be more likely to play pass into space. Mixed crosses is the only friend. Low crosses is your enemy in this tactic because you're never going to be in a position where you can do cutbacks. None of these roles are going to the flanks. Winger maybe, but that's about it. At once I might go to the flank, this guy's shadow, striker, attacks. But this tactic is all about balls over the top and whip crosses. Yeah, you can't play low crosses. This is not a low cross tactic. You cannot make it a low cross tactic. That is never going to happen. Yeah, if you want a low cross tactic, then what you need to do is you need to change these roles to wing backs. Then maybe these guys can get up the pitch. Then so these guys become full backs, full backs, wingers on attack, wingers on attack. Then we can talk um, low crossing because then you can get into the final third. DLP on support is holding this area. So what you want to do is maintain tackle harder. Okay, fine. If you have if you have problems with this role, changing to AP on support, you'll drop deep. And then you get uh you get control in your tactic, but then you'll have too many cooks 
hitting balls over the top to do this guys here i would ask ask this guy to dribble more and take more risks and to do the same with this guy as well why because you got all these roles at the back playing balls over the top right we pass into space you want them to attack the lines okay so next tactic yeah, I got things I need to address at home. Uh, so that's why I got, I got a message. Kind of knocked my mood a bit. So I have to deal with it. 4 3 3. See, I'm going to attack AP. Nice. Wing back. Get this guy to get further forward. He's going to run around the end, run around this side. I probably wouldn't use AP here and AP here. You know? it's, I will go either DM and then AP here. Uh, play DM here. I think this one those few times I'll say it's better to use a DM in this setup. Because you got ball playing defenders bringing the ball out. You got DLP here. Then after that, you see one conjunction with this guy AP dropping this area. Wing back. Yeah, then you got too much funkiness in your tactic. Yeah, you can ask him to sit narrower. He moves in a bit more. I mean, no, better not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... AP on this side trying to do deep diagonals. Far post. Cross from cross from deep. Okay. Alright. So that we are what we're telling these guys to do, do to do deep diagonals. So he looks for crosses to the opposite side. This guy does the same thing. Cross more often and deep diagonals. Okay. Far post. Okay, so ask him to do a diagonal attack if he gets a chance to. Players who have switched ball to other flank um might be I don't I wouldn't use those kind of roles in this tactic. But this is fairly solid. I mean fairly simple. In the, not you're not changing too much. Don't change too much. I think it's a decent tactic. Sometimes you might want to use drop off more. Uh if you want to hold down a lead. Again, these kind of tactics are top five substitutions. One, two, three, four, five. These are your top five substitutions that you're gonna be making. All other substitutions are not as important as these five. Okay, next. BM, do No. I immediately change this role to DM, do You don't want somebody running all over the place. Okay? And too deep and very aggressive. Don't. Just play a DM on D. That's it. This is fine. DMD, DMD, DLP on support. Wing back on support. Bring up the ball. Inverted wing on attack. You expect this guy to come inside here and play one over the top. You get natural width from both these roles. Okay. I can see how this works. This guy looking. This is a one man scoring tactic. Huh? <laughs> this is a one man scoring tactic. You don't have these guys as creators and give the ball, you're in trouble. You don't need higher tempo, just something like this is fine. Yeah, this is a one-man tactic. All this is just one guy scoring all the goals. If you have problems finding players who can play with their... Okay, you can also play a winger. If you want width in this tactic, you can. Winger, winger, they'll give you width. This guy's always going to come in a bit more. But this these guys will get out of the pitch to give you the extra width. So you can leave it. I don't think there's anything wrong with this tactic. I think this is a very player-driven tactic. You want to score lots of goals? This guy has to do it. That's it. But if you're finding that there are times when your boys are just uh, getting into these positions and then losing the ball, right? Before they can cross, change them to wingers immediately. Then they, they, they cash across the ball slightly earlier. Yeah. So wingers, because these guys want to come inside and then do the cross. Wingers are already wide. They just do crosses from wider positions. Yeah, that's all. So you need these two guys to get up the pitch and get around them. Yeah, so both of them have to get up the pitch. So they don't have to be both on attack duty, but they will be wing backs 100%. Take more risks is fine. Yep. I would just, uh, yeah. If you need to, both wingers. Otherwise, it's a, yeah, it will work. This tactic works. The formation has got no issues, no. This That formation is all about players, man. That's all. Uh, half these players is you choose the wrong player, that's it. And you struggle. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 4 2 3 one, on a Simji draft tactic. Oh, this is... Oh! Hey! Okay, Volante, Volante. White centre-back comes here, white centre-back. I probably wouldn't use a Libero, but I know... Okay, Libero pushes up to the middle, though. The only problem is when he pushes up to the middle, ball goes over the top. You might have an issue. But <laughs> if you have a player here who's got very good acceleration, anticipation, concentration, with what, mm, 
might be might be worth the risk. I on the other hand probably will play this guy as a Trequatista. Why? Because this guy when he drops into the hole, he can release these two guys on his own. Right? So that's the only difference in why I, I will play. I'll play, I'll play him as a track. Complete wing back on Rome, complete wing back, volante going up and down. What you can do with this volante is, is okay, hold on. What you can do is you come inside here, drop it all the way to this, come inside here, add max to this guy, add max to this guy. Okay. You done maximum ready, right? Then you come back inside here, go to three quarters. So you don't they don't break the shape. Yeah. Come inside here. And go close down more with this guy. Close down more with this guy. All right. Uh, then you get these two guys pressing maximum. Maximum. This guy's maximum pressing. So if you uh, do come in here, maximum press, mark tight. Maximum press, mark tight. Right? Okay. All right. Now what have you got is maximum press here, maximum press here, maximum press here, maximum. What do you have you got? Flank press. Instead of everybody doing it, right? And then the center, these two guys are pressing hard right so you can also attack uh wait hold on tackle harder to this guy and tackle harder to this guy so what have you got now you got a bit of a ball winning midfielder in the center right you want them to do it higher up the pitch you can ask this guy to get further forward and do it higher up the pitch and then drop into this hole right this guy can also do that so you can get him to do it higher up the pitch and get further forward it's because you got white center back white center back this guy pushing on the ball it's something that i would try i would do yeah uh, pass into space, play our defense. Not necessary, you know, play our defense. Play your friend, because you got these guys dropping very deep. If you want to do that, right, then these guys are to play risky passes. Then you got all these players going ting tong, you know, they're playing from the back, everything over the top. Because we're talking here about a, a tactic that is uh, for draft mode, right? So you might not have a lot of time to play our defense. So you have to remove that. And then... You can hit one over the top but this could work it could work yeah it could be quite cool no it could be quite cool all right the all right um total football v2 Winger, uh, okay, this guy does a natural overlap. This guy was going to come in, right? So this guy's going to go around him. When he does that, what does this role do? What does this role do? This guy will go to anchor for you. So this guy goes around and then let's get him to do a diagonal. Okay, far post. Let's get this guy to get around and do a far post. Let's get him to dribble more and take more risk. Okay, that's what I will do with this role. Because it's no, you need this guy can be very aggressive. He's gonna go around this player. So this is one of the reasons why I made him take more risk crossing far post and dribble more. So you're gonna drive all the way to the you're gonna drive all the way here. In fact, this role can even be a complete wing back on a tank. So you give him a bit more latitude to do it once he got white center back here, keeping things safe. In fact, this guy, you know, you can also ask him to be a bit more on a support duty, right? You push up a bit, you get a bit uh this guy is very defensive. That's fine. Yeah, this this guy should be on cover. So you get these guys to get a V, nice V shape here. Volante getting up the pitch. Ask him to uh, do you know just some what I did with the other Volante, right? So <laughs> drop this to a. You don't need a much higher defensive line. Higher, it's too squeezy. Balls over the top, we're gonna screw you over, right? You can drop off more. You can step up more if you want. If you wanna push all the way up, you can. Get just get very fast defenders. So you just do this. Yeah, I mean, you can play like this as well if you want. I mean, if you, you saw earlier how did the volante change, I dropped the pressing to mix, right? And I just went in here and just maxed out his pressing and uh, tackle harder. Turn him to a bit of a beast. This is fine. Pressing one is going to go left and right. Invert the winger. This guy goes around. He can score goals diagonally over this way. Yeah, it can work. Yeah, it's not bad. It's Yeah, keep it simple. This can work. Yeah. Distribute overlap. Oh, overlap! Probably you don't need overlaps in this tactic. Mm. If anything else, you need an underlap. <laughs> Why widest player here holds out the ball for inside guy run, uh, play on the inside running? Widest player here holds out the ball for inside running? Not happening here, but happening on the right. Yeah, so this is what I would do. Yeah. So you have an underlap happening here, but not here. Yeah. Okay, next tactic. Naturally, these are just recommendations, right? I'm not saying that you're gonna 
to go and do i mean just suggesting try it out see what happens you know okay so next tactic 4231 af attacking this way inverted winger i mean i'm not a big fan of double inverted wingers focus play down the left overlap overlap okay fine uh okay this is very attacking i uh, don't think there's I mean, okay, what I probably would do here is just to make it a bit more safer, I'll do this AP on support. Volante going up, Volante going up, AP is going to be just moving around. Otherwise, we've got so many attacks. I mean, man, it's not bad. I think the only thing wrong... Okay, I tell you what, you, you might as well go all on a thing. The reason I'm a bit weary of this is you got the flank... Okay, I will just change this guy to... I get, I get what's happening here. You gotta have very good players with these two roles. That's all, okay? Very good players with these two roles. Huh? And this is the your, your tactic lives and dies by these two. You don't have the best players with work rate, aggression, and stamina here. Your tactic will fall apart. Otherwise, it will lead to a 140 goal striker. This is a 140 goal striker tactic. 100%. This is a very good 140 goal striker. Low defensive line, I get what you've done here because you don't want this back line to be too high up the pitch. So a lot of your balls are going to come. A lot of your attacks are going to come from the players and their passing abilities and the fact that they're running up because yours transitions into a 2, <laughs> two 1, 2, 3. Yeah, very attacking tactic. Very, very attacking. So these guys dribble more. Yeah, I saw it. This is actually a good tactic. No, it's a very good tactic. It's a very high 140. 100, this guy is going to score you 100 goals, 100%. Right. So don't change too much about it. You just keep fighting the right place. This is a world-class team tactic. No? Yeah, it's a world-class team tactic. I'm telling you, you're going to get 140 goals from this tactic. Because I have a similar tactic, but I need very good players for it. Yeah. Now, very, you need very good players. You need these two be to, to have a lot of aggression, stamina, work rate. Because you, if you don't have that, then you struggle. Yeah, it's not... The good thing about football manager today is that you don't... It's not a case of, oh, this tactic doesn't work. No, it does. If you got a place, it works. If you don't have the place, it won't work. That's it. You know? It's not rocket science, no, football manager, no. Football manager is all about, I'm sorry, Mon, you got the wrong 11. See, okay, this, I wouldn't play Ow. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Roam, 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 roam. Ow. No, no, no. Why don't you just go box to box then? Right. You got to roam. He does a roam, right? The thing about these tactics is this guy needs to attack. This guy attack a lot. I'll just play wing by on support. I'll commit myself. I know I don't, I'm not a big fan of the automatic role because the, probably the automatic role is it ties too closely to mentality. Right. So it might be a bit too... Too weak. Yeah. So I think Furious dribble less. You can do it like this as well. So if the guy doesn't dribble too much, right? He passes inside. You can you can come in here, set the passing to um set the passing to set the passing meter to 50-50. Then come in here, go to this guy now, right? And then you can do this shorter passing. So he plays a safer game for you, right? So if you are worried that these two guys go running up the hill all the time. And not looking back to see how far up the hill they've gone, then this is a very safe way of playing. These guys will pass the ball inside. If you think that these players are too, you always want them to pass inside, go full back on support. They'll always pass inside. Right. Wing backs also. You can play wing backs, you can play full backs, you can add this instruction, and you get a pretty safe combination here. But I probably wouldn't go out uh, automatic. Here, roaming playmaker is not a bad role. Inside forward comes in. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of the inside forwards. Inside forwards can be very good creatively, but I probably won't use a complete forward. Too expensive, very hard to find a player to do that. Pressing forward is actually a very good role. All go for DLF on support. This will be turn this tactic into a high possession tactic. The only issue then would be how do you score goals? High possession means you have to keep the ball moving around the final third, scoring, uh, you know, creating lots of chances. This will mean that you're playing work ball into box and low crosses. Right, so this becomes like one of those high possession tactics where you drop it all the way to here and then you go final third and you move the team around to score goals. So it's very fluid. Got lots of attackers, lots of final third movement, but you got to take it down a notch and play with players uh, who can uh, keep the ball. So quality, quality. You might end up in games that you don't score a lot of goals, but you know, it's 
you, you you know it only happened because you don't have the players for it. Okay, three four three roaming playmaker, ball winning. I'm ah, not a big fan of this setup because the ball winning midfielder he, he messes with the defense too much, right? So, uh, so I probably would just keep it simple, defensive midfielder on defense. Keep it simple. Don't get somebody running all over the place, right? Look, if you if you're thinking that ball winning midfielder is gonna help this guy, he's also gonna mess with the defense as well. So the defense will sometimes prematurely two players, the wrong player comes out to help you defend, then you go run into trouble. Here, this lineup is dangerous. Because the wing back is attacking, the inside forward is attacking, the right center back is also attacking. Now, if you want to do something that is great, you know, sometimes I do that as well. I do this underlap. Why? Because I know that this white center back is also gonna come with the pitch. This wing back, get him to Roma in that case. You want to be this attacking? Go all the way. Do the full Monty. Don't stop at one. Don't stop at two. Go for four. Because then you got a lot more attacks. This guy's going to roam left or right. This guy's going to come up the center. So if you want to make it very attacking, do it this way. Commit yourselves to an attack. Go all, go through with it, right? And then you defend with these guys. Now here in this particular case, tell this guy. This guy's going to be the stand. He's going to be in the right in the middle helping you defend. So it's very important that you choose the right player for this role, right? So this guy's going to come in. This guy's going to go wide center back. This wing back is going to come this way, attacking. And with this inverted winger coming this side, target for do a natural overlap. Yeah. Okay, fine. I will play like this. But probably wouldn't play it as a mid block. Ah, wait. Still could. Huh? Because these two guys can help you defend. Uh, you can still play as a mid block. Yeah, this can be played as a mid block. Yeah. Target forward and support. Everything is going to go target forward. If you want to play a target forward, then get them to, you know, cross him target forward. Or alternatively, in this kind of a tactic, this guy can be uh, pressing forward, de blind forward and support as well. But overall, yeah, it's fine. Get these guys to mark tight so they help you in the defensive transition. This guy to mark tight as well, right? So whenever they have fullbacks, they're marking them tight. Get this guy to mark tight as well. You need all the help you can get on the flanks, right? Mark tight as well. So get these guys to do the mark tight, mark tight. And you should be fine. Yeah. Overall, I think it's still a nice tactic. You can play a mid block, but this is very, very interesting. I like this because it's very gutsy. <clears throat> I'm never say I'm never gonna say it's a bad idea because it depends on who you're playing against. If some of you have seen me live stream and I've turned this all these guys into attack duties, right? This guy attack, 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 this guy. You've seen it. Okay. Sometimes I do it against teams that are hell bent on defending. Then I just go all out, right? I attack them like crazy. But I'm I get one roll in the center to drop off. So then we just flood them. It is possible to play like that, but you really, really need the right kind of players for it. Okay, guys. I know today I'm a bit limited in terms of time. I have lots of things to do. I've got to prepare for certain things that are going to happen in the next couple of minutes at home. And uh, I've got to go and uh, deal with the kids and uh, teach them as well. So I want to thank everybody for coming today. Um, yeah. Uh, I can't tell you what happened. There's something, something that happened. It kind of, kind of, I don't know. I have to, I need to, I need to come down from my high, which I'm normally at when I'm streaming so that I don't, I don't end up, I need to be extra patient in the next half hour. <laughs> so I have to do that. So I'm thinking we're coming today. If I couldn't deal with all the tactics, I'm very sorry. We'll try and do it next week. And uh, once again, the streams are starting a lot earlier now. So instead of um, it start earlier so I can devote my evenings to my son before he goes to sleep. So you guys stay safe, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>